I'm Shantae and you're watching my show Anything Goes. In this episode, I sit down with my favourite Love Islander, Yoande, to discuss life before the island, what really happened in the villa and the sort of relationship she's looking for now. Hello guys and welcome to Anything Goes with me, your host Shantae Joseph. Today I'm joined by Yoande, the famous, famous, famous Yoande from Love Island, reality TV star, influencer and just general social media innovator with all those looks you're really doing the thing so oh, i'm actually so you. happy that you're here with us today Thanks for having me. um so we've got some dolls we're going to be doing some hair having yes. a chat just catching up general chit chat this is my doll her name is janice what about yours my i'm gone with you yeah oh that's a very nice name yeah i think that's very cute i love it how has being in lockdown and kind of being isolated kind yeah. of impacted you? Are you spending more time online or are you enjoying the stillness? Yeah. The first week, I think I definitely enjoyed the stillness. Yeah. The second and the third week, I think it started to hit me. Yeah. I think the first couple of weeks was really hard for me as well, especially, I didn't even know what to do. I was yeah. so used to like going out posting and then it was like, okay, what do, what do I do now? In general, do you limit your social media time or are you very much always on? I've stopped going on Instagram. Really? Yes. I feel like I more and more of you are moving away from Instagram, you know? I, like, I think when we first came out, Instagram was great because, you know, we came out with all these followings. Yeah. Um, and it was just nice to update people on what we were doing. And yeah. It was just a friendly atmosphere because you had so much support. Yeah. But as like the months kind of went by, it was just like, I'm just over this. Yeah. Like, it was just too much pressure to be, you had to be doing something, you had to be posting something, you had to look a certain way. Mm. And it was like, it was just tiring. And then I got to a stage where I was always comparing myself with other people. Really? I feel like once once I got to that is when I was like, no, I need to take and a step back. Like Instagram isn't even real. Yeah. Like yeah. I think I convinced myself that Instagram was a real world. Um, and the minute I realized that it wasn't real, I was like, you know what? I just need to take a step back. Exactly, exactly. What was your relationship with social media like before you went into the villa? I didn't even use social media. I was like one of those people that posted like, once a year if if you were lucky really if i was lucky you would see a post from me once a year it just felt like i think for most people who are influencers um mm. who grew organically to them it's like doing their job like not a job yeah. it's like just showing people their lifestyle like they yeah. go out to take a picture but to me it's like work it's like oh my god i have to get yeah. this picture and it has to look this way it has to get a good interaction it has to yeah. do this and then it's just like oh, this is really work but you before you went into the villa you were working at Bristol Myers Squib? Squib. Squib, Squib yes, and I was so, there. Like, I don't know, I, I'm really keen to know what it is that, that I do. That drove you to, to Love Island and why you, you left know? the career you had. So basically, I've always, I think I've always just been like a model student, I would yeah, say. Yeah. I've always, like, even in like secondary school, I was like nominated for like, not that I won it ever, but I was nominated <laughs> every year for like student of the year. Never yeah. actually won. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I never missed a day of school ever. Yes. Um, got really good grades and stuff like that. I started really early. And then I feel like I was just doing everything just so perfectly. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. there was no like adventure. Like it was like I started uni early. I got my graduate job. Yeah. I was a specialist in yeah. like three years. And it was like, so what happens yeah, after exactly. that? Woo, um, and I've I always watched that. the show and I, I always actually wanted to go on, but I just never thought that like I would fit in. Really? Um, why? Because it was just like very much like white people from like predominantly. the home counties. Exactly. And if there was ever like someone of colour, it was like one. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what are the chances that I'm going to be that one? Exactly. And then who is even going to like me? So I was yeah. like... But my friend was like, one day, just apply, just do yeah, it. Yeah, exactly, you lose nothing by exactly. trying. That's exactly what you yeah. said. So I was like, okay, I suppose this practice for next year, I probably yeah. won't get it. Yeah. And then when I got the call, I was like, okay. Wow. It was mad. This do you, is turning out really terribly. Do you know what I've done? I've stuck pins oh in God. it, so it sticks. Better. Oh, thank you. It looks mine. Is um, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Oh, We're gonna get there, we've got time. Do you, are there ever moments where you were like, wow, I, I wish I never did this? I think when I was in there, I was like, get me the hell out of this place. Really? <laughs> when I was in there, and I think, I like when I look back on it now, I feel like that's why I wasn't, 
having <clears throat> such a good time and I wasn't relaxed because yeah. I was always on edge. I wasn't really enjoying the experience yeah. while I was in there. Yeah. I think when I left is when I realized that like, actually, it actually was a good experience and yeah. I, I would do it you again. You did something, like yeah. something that was completely out of your comfort zone. Yeah. What are your kind of biggest realizations from going in the villa and then coming out with a huge platform and being essentially a part of this celebrity slash influencer class of people? What I learned about myself, I think most importantly, was that I was stronger than I thought I was. Yeah. Because you have to have thick skin. Like people really? always say, oh, you have to have, no, but you really do. Like sometimes like you, have to let things not bother you because you do get a lot of bullshit from like brands really yeah like i remember i think when i when i kind of went in and i came out um like i had this like idea that like everything would just be like given to me everything was yeah. gonna be easy <clears throat> like blah 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 and um brands do really take the piss like yeah, sometimes they, try to fleece you. they are just brands some some brands and like are literally trash and they'll be like the biggest brands that will treat you like crap really yeah and i think that was like shocking for me obviously from someone who has exactly. never been in that like lifestyle i just thought everything was like rosy yeah, from yeah. the outside but it's like it's really not do you feel like your opportunities were different because you are a dark-skinned black girl it's hard to tell because I came out kind of early. The way it works, especially in the villa, is like the, the, the more you stay in, the better like opportunities you get yeah, given. Yeah. So if I stayed there a little bit longer and you know I didn't get as much opportunities, then yeah. it would have been different. But I did come out like like early-ish um, and I had the opportunity to have like tree clothing edits yeah. within the style. Yeah. I have another one that I'm working on at the moment. Yes. And not many people who came out at my time would yeah. have been given those opportunities. Yeah. But I think it has a lot to do with like the Black Lives Matter campaign and okay. brands trying to like push for diversity yeah, yeah, yeah. and inclusion. And um, I think a lot of it has to do with that. Oh, Chile. I'm getting literal hair all over me. It's I mean, getting you're all doing over my clothes. She looks good. Would she looks go good. Like yeah. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> My hair's not even long enough as well. What even is this? I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> One thing we have to talk about is friendship. We were really standing you and Amber as friends, and yeah. it was like very much like this is something that we can get behind. Yes. Do you think your friendships helped to save your or make your experience in the villa a lot more enjoyable? Listen, I would. I would have been out of that door if it wasn't for Amber and Anna. Really? I'm telling you this for free. Did you have any I moments where be, you were like, no, I this had is absolute, yeah. I had multiple moments. We all did. Yeah. We all had multiple moments when I was like, listen, I'm, I'm yeah. ready to take my bag and I'm, <laughs> bye. I want to go. Bye. Yeah. I was literally like, bye. I think it was, I think what people don't understand, especially when you're watching from the outside, is that mm. it's really, really high. Like people just see us like, you know, getting into bikinis in the morning. And it's yeah. kind of like, it's, there's so much like, <clears throat> I think that mentally it's just draining because yeah. you can't like, although we are friends, but like, it's kind of like, I actually have actual friends on the outside. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, you can't speak to them. You can't speak to your family. You don't know what's going on. And it's just the environment. Obviously when I was in there, I found it very hard to like click with anyone romantically. Yeah, so obviously yeah. that was like quite like draining. It sounds yeah. like a little thing, like, oh my no, God. No, but the show is about romance anyway. So if, yeah. you can't, if you're not doing that, then it's going to be difficult. So I just always felt like the odd one out. And yeah. it was just tiring. Yeah. Like it was tiring doing challenges and realizing that no one actually liked you. Yeah. Like it was just, it was just, I was just like, I'm over this. Like, what do you think could have been different, if anything? I've actually had a chat with the, producers and the directors about yeah. this as well because I remember even before I went on my date my first date I remember mm. I was speaking to a producer like literally outside I was like if this person comes to me and tells me he likes blondes I'm yeah. going to shoot you I yeah. literally looked at him like I was the cameras were there the, my date was there I said I'm gonna if this guy looks at me and says blondes or brunette, yeah. I'm, I'm literally gonna shoot yeah, you yeah because we all know what that is I was for. just yeah I was tired I remember every time someone would come in and the first question is what's your type yeah. And they'd sit down like, oh, blondes and brunettes. And like, we would just look at each other. Like, Anyways, like, I try it. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess leaving the villa then, what has it been like dating outside of it? Because you've obviously now got a huge profile, so you can't just the jump ghetto. on hinge, can you? You're going to have to ask influencers who have boyfriends. Because I, I don't know. I literally don't know. I don't know where, like, any time Would you I just date a commoner then? I say a commoner. Like, I am myself. I'm, like, I'm a royal. 
<laughs> but like obviously you you have a certain like a huge platform yeah. so you can't just like like where do you go who do you chat to who do you speak that's to that's the thing i'm interested to know like when you were like 15 or whatever where did you imagine you'd be at 25 um in a mansion a couple of cars married I've been like chasing like happiness. Yeah. Like I feel like I've always just wanted to be like, I just want to be like happy and live a really good successful life. And that's yeah. all I've wanted, which I don't think is like that much to answer. It's for. not. But then do, why do you feel like you're not living out your dream? I don't know. It's interesting though, because I think a lot of people who follow you or maybe watch you see that you have loads of followers, that you have a huge platform, that you're doing these great collaborations and they think, there's probably nothing that can upset you. Or yeah. there's, there's nothing that you have to want for or need for. But actually you are very much just a human with wants and desires and there yeah. are things that upset you and there are things you haven't met that you want and stuff yeah. like that. I wonder why it is that people just don't seem to like sympathize or empathize with, yeah. with people who have huge platforms. I think it's because they just think that, oh, you know, I get everything, I, I you know, I get everything I want, gifted, yeah. whatever, I, you yeah. know, I get to live a nice life and blah, yeah. blah, blah. And it's kind of like at the end of the day, like it's kind of like that's just my job. Yeah, like it's just a job. Yeah. Do you feel like you're <laughs> almost losing a bit of control over your like own life because you have to just meet all of these demands yeah. all the time? I feel like I don't even have a life. Sometimes, like I wake up and I'm like, what even is this? Yeah, yeah. Like, what's this? Like, <laughs> what, what, what am I even doing? I think what you've done is very abstract, um, and Double. I think it's been a really nice, like, therapeutic conversation with you about. <laughs> life and yeah. and i think the heads they do represent like what i'm going our, through yeah our <laughs> lives currently this? in the middle of covid <laughs> but yeah it's been really nice chatting to you and just like getting to know you as a person as do you a feel person. like you know me now a little bit better i mean i'm not going to be like those people who are online like oh i know her i know what <laughs> this morning she's not like that good vibes all around thank you you know we love to see it <laughs> i feel like we put our worries and our anxieties into the doll's head and now we're gonna like just let it go into the universe, do you know what I mean? <laughs>